Google Drawings is an app designed to let you manipulate images, texts, and shapes. It can be a very useful tool for teachers and students. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you a few of the basic functions of Google Drawings and how to get up and going with this software. So the first thing you'll want to do is log into your Gmail account and get to Google Drive. Now I want to recommend that when you're creating these drawings, for later on down the road, it's a really beneficial idea if you have a folder set where you create your drawings in. So I'm just going to create a folder and title this Drawings. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, I like to think of Google Drawings as kind of like making stickers. Um, you use this software to create images and then you can kind of stick them on to any of your other documents like uh, Google Docs or into a slideshow presentation or even into uh, forms assessment. So uh, let me show you what I mean. So I'm just going to create a drawing here so you can click new and then go to Google Drawings. When it loads up here you see a uh, blank page similar to like a Photoshop or something like that style software. Um, and then what we can do here is the first thing I want to do uh, is set the shape of my picture or my sticker if you will. So I'll go ahead and click File and go down to Page Setup. And here you can click from different options, a standard, widescreen, uh, 16 by 9, 16 by 10, or custom. So this would depend on whether or not you are projecting this onto a screen or using it within a document. So let's make one that's uh, the size of a normal piece of paper. Let's go 8.5 by 11. So this would be if we were wanting to create something maybe to go uh, as a black line master or a template or something like that. So the next thing I we'll want to do is give it a name. We'll click up here in the Untitled Drawings and we'll call this one Test Drawing. Click OK. So now we're ready to begin. You'll notice that uh, the format of this is very familiar uh, if you've looked at the other tutorials. Uh, lots of these toolbars are the same as uh, Google Docs or Sheets or any of those. So I'm just going to scroll across these real quick and let you see them. What we're going to focus on in this tutorial is inserting text box images and word art as well as um, lines and shapes and what we can do with these. So the first thing I want to show you is just how to insert a text box. So you click insert, go to text box. You can draw a text box here and then uh, it allows you to start typing in it. We'll just type this is a test of Google Drawings. You can manipulate your text however you want. You can just highlight it, change the font, you can make it bold, you can make it larger, just like all of our other uh, text formatting tools within Google Apps. Next up, uh, inserting pictures is just like the other one, so click Insert, go to Image, and you can either upload through your computer from your drive if you have images saved in your drive or you can go directly to a Google search. So we'll just go ahead and type California map and we'll just take this first one here it looks fine. It inserts the image here and you can resize it by dragging from the corners or from either of the sides. Next thing I want to show you is the word art. We can just go to insert word art. It's very much like a text box. It just makes the art a little uh, snazzier, it makes it look better. So we'll say this is California. Same with the images. You can drag, you can resize, you can make it bigger, you can change the font, you can even change the fill color and the outline color. So now we have word art there that says this is California. The last thing I want to show you in this uh, basic functions tutorial is how to insert shapes. I think this can be a really useful tool for teachers and students alike if they want to call attention to something that is in their picture. They can put shapes over it. In one of the earlier tutorials I showed you how to draw an arrow uh, to 
point at something so I can do that like this I'll just go to uh, you can either do shapes or lines if you want a skinny arrow or a wide arrow let's do a wide arrow on this one and we'll say an arrow pointing to the left so you just now click and drag and it makes an arrow and the basic formatting for these is to have a light blue inside and a black outside so let's just make this fill color transparent and we'll make the arrow color red so that pops out if you want to turn the arrow you can click this top uh, circle and just drag your mouse up or down and that will change the angle of the arrow so I'm going to point this right in here at, at Lake Tahoe and that's how you do an arrow if you want to insert another shape on there um, say you want to put a star over a city so um, you can do that like this just same as we did with the arrow you just select from the shapes list and hopefully there's a star let's go to the callouts there's a star we'll use this star and let's say let's put a star over here where somewhere where LA is around about here I guess and same with that we'll make that transparent and we'll make this red and now we have a star over the city that we wanted to call out um, you could have students do this for an assessment or you could even do this for a flyer if you wanted so like I said earlier uh, if you want to think of these as like a sticker I think that's a good way to think of it because you can go ahead and create your drawing in here however you want and then when you're ready when you're creating your document uh, say you want to make something you can pass out to the kids or something to send home with the parents you can just go ahead and stick this picture in it and um, it'll look neat the last thing I wanted to mention is that you might be wondering what these checkerboard boxes are for um, essentially what this means and the, the reason I was equating this to being a sticker is that anytime you see the checker boxes this is actually going to be like transparent so this will just be blank underneath so if you were to print this on to another sheet of paper all that would stick out is the pictures and the words and the shapes that you have on there everything that's checkerboard is just going to be clear so if it's white paper it'll be white underneath um, so that can also be helpful as you're creating your content so these are just a couple of the basic functions of Google Drawings. If you have any questions or comments about these, leave them in the comments section. I'll do my best to reply to all of them. Thanks and have a good day.